What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of Duo here, welcoming you to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we finished up our trial, and there was some shenanigans, so you definitely need to check it out because holy heck of doodles, things happened, and it was wild, and uh, yeah. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Huh? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Who are these? Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's sixteen. Oh God, did we all die? No. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live, for our sake at least. Jeez, I wish they lived. No, they should have lived. They had to. For this world. Did we just all die? Is that what we... The, a thin line the, the, a thin line that divides heaven and hell. Daily life. Oh, gosh. What are we doing? Where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Oh, hi, Gotha! Hey, come out, bugs! <laughs> Where are you all hiding? Mm. Just when Gonto think he finds some, they gone. Weird. <laughs> really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but why no bugs? Weird. So weird. Bugs. <laughs> Any bugs here? Come out. Gonto want to talk to you. Huh? What that? Something on the ground. In grass. Words written on it. What? Horse? I mean... This is me when somebody rings on my doorbell. Nobody literally gets the answer. <sighs> oh, it is so weird seeing us in a different room. Oh my god. It is it shouldn't be that big of a difference, but in my head I'm like all expecting the reds and the like the pinky tones and all that. Now we're like in a more neutral blue room. Who the heck needs to freaking talk to us? Who who is it? Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. With the doorbell hurrying. Uh me along. I went to open the door. I, yeah, I know. I I would predict, I would literally like sit there. Click. Who wants to talk to us? Oh, hey. are you actually coming to apologize? Probably not. But you know, maybe a sensible human being would do that. Hey, what are you doing? It's a hearty morning. Huh? Kaido. What about the garbage can? We're just gonna grind mono coins because why not? Freaking yes. Anyway. Uh, um, um do, do you need something? On, well, yeah, food. Jeez. I was going to eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? huh? But I don't recall making any plans. I mean, you should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you going to eat breakfast? Hey. I don't usually eat breakfast, so huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Uh, well, nothing. I do that too, so I'm sorry, Kaido. I literally will grab my water and just deal because I don't usually eat till like 12 anyway. <laughs> usually it's like 11 or 12, but <laughs> it's fine, Kaido. It's okay. Um, it's whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Um, wait. I I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I, I don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go. Ah. Oh, right. I was going to tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. You're fine. You actually apologized, which is what I was hoping you would do. So I'm glad. Keep going. Huh? Huh? 
Ah, oh, that. Oh, it's okay. I see. I see. Then let's go. Look at him go, being a respectable human being and actually apologizing about things that he should apologize for. Look at that. We are here for that, honestly. Okay, let's go to the dining hall. I, I got what I wanted. I got my apologies, so we're good. I'm happy. Things can go return to normal. I'm also not one of those people that, like, hold the grudge like that, though. Like, I think even if he didn't apologize, I wouldn't have really cared as much. I would have been like, bro, why did you not apologize? Did you know you did something wrong? But it wouldn't have been like a, I'm never going to hang out with you again because you didn't apologize type thing. So it's more like the jokey bro kind of thing. Okay. But we are running to the dining hall because, oh wait, can't I just fast travel? Well, I, I could just fast travel. But I don't get experience that way. So it's not good for me to fast travel. I gotta remember that because in my head I'm like, I'm doing something bad and not letting, like things happen but no you're fine i'm fine it is so crazy that we're playing as not kaede that's just doesn't it doesn't add to me like like not seeing sui shuichi here is weird hmm. writing honest yeah like someone tried to hide writing in grass weird right uh. atua says it's just graffiti yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Jeez. Atua, that's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Let it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up, you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Huh? Mm -hmm. As I expected. They were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um, you finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kaede died or whatever? Oh, that's what he didn't need anymore. Okay. Quiet, you male. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you could stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk. No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. That's a power move for Shuichi, though. Uh, um... you, you don't have to stare. I just took my hat off. It's not a big deal. That is correct. You are right. My apologies. I, I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How nice of you. I'm like plain Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know? Those who see my true form are pay a terrible price. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is you decided that on your own, huh? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did. That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I have prepared an Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette, and for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey. Kurumi, uh, be my mom. Oh my god. Mm. Gonta want you to be his mom too. Hmm. What are you two even saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look. When Himiko eats, she smiles, or she makes the cutest face. Ah, oh, she's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Facts. <laughs> we, chatted you, or we chatted casually as we began eating our food with Karumi, or that Karumi brought out. Amazing. Gonta not mean to flatter, but all this food is so yummy. Excellent. Uh, mm, it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, did it double? Did it double? I hope it didn't double. Mm -hmm. The rice balls are just ordinary old rice balls. Are, aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is so nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you could taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? 
By not crushing the rice, the air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than the maintaining of the loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier to imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Eh, I can't make rice balls. I can't even make tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey. H how have you survived this long? Facts. Um, what's wrong, key boy? Are you not eating? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. You can't eat because you, you know, because you're a robot. Hey. Hey, now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. I don't want that. I don't, I'm not a waste receptacle. <laughs> yeah. Kibo and Kokoichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. We're having a normal conversation, as if nothing happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. But that's to be expected. That incident that happened yesterday, after all. Everyone forcing themselves? That's why. That kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Hmm? hmm? What's the matter, Suiji? If you're not gonna eat this, uh, I'll just help myself. Ah, oh, sorry. Hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled my mouth with food. By the way, by the way that thing Gonza talked about earlier, w are we going to check it out? <laughs> Ha! Keep your fussing over some loudy graffiti and worry about the shitty future instead. Huh? Graffiti? Um, Got to find it this morning. Hey. On concrete, hidden in grass. Words, horse, A, written there. Hmm. Huh? What do you mean? What do you think that means? Hmm. Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows? I, I thought that was some sort of anthropology no. thing. Well, how about Suichi? Let's hear it, ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find the graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Did you channel divine too? No. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, got to think that before, but... But... When out walking in courtyard, Gonta got to see... Think he see a tiny bug. But... Bug is so tiny, even Gonta could, no could see it. And Gonta has... Have 20... Slash... Oh, point two six five eyesight. Damn! That's like... Damn good eyesight. That's like... That's great. Anyway... So maybe Ganta make a mistake, but Ganta thinks... Maybe... No, maybe Ganta just see things. Degenerate male! Nah, you just made up your mind. Just make up your mind already, you degenerate! Uh, so you found this mes message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Ganta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met! Oh my gosh. Huh? Wait, really? It's true! Yep! So you should work for me instead. Got it. Okie dokie. What? You were just gonna agree to that? Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Wait, really? <laughs> no way! Oh, goodness. Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry. Will you just believe that? Or just <laughs> anyone? Ah, <laughs> oh, Gonta's so gullible! You know, if you keep being this gullible, you you'll be killed before you understand. <gasps> that moment, that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? Kokuichi used a singular word that destroyed the fabric of the conversation. Good job, Kokuichi, or Kokichi. What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? Uh, Kokichi, you should not say anything like that joke. Even if it is a joke. Hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K-word been banned? Sorry, I, I didn't know. But that's not very reasonable, is it? Now, when the killing game is still happening, how could you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm ready. This is why I hate degenerate males. They're always, uh, they're about as considerate as amo, uh, uh, oh, amoebas, amoebas, amoebas. Hey. That's a cool word. I like that word. 
Don't complain about some scary guy yells what color blood what color is your blood? Don't complain when some scary guy yells, what color is your blood at you? You really don't get it. It's the kind of talk that l lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Oh, don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Oh, you... Oh, hi, Monokuma. I was expecting you. Yoo Why, hello! Looks like you guys are having a great time. You should let me join in. Uh, yeah, well, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. Monokuma, help. This isn't that your fault. Huh? Ganging up? Hey. No bullying. Bullying is not cool. Bullying is just the worst. Personally, I think bullying is just because of lousy parenting. I mean, that's not wrong. It's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job at raising their kids. Why are you even here? Yeah. Oh, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A, a prize? Rise and shine or sign. There's only four. Are they? Yeah, there's still only four left. Rise and shine or sign. Hi, you four. You guys are the only ones left. Um, the reward, right? Mm. We brought it. Yep. So I'll give it all to you then. Thanks for not saying any words. I appreciate you, Monodom. You're great. Hmm? Even my kids are a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Are you being bullied? <laughs> That's, um, I knew, it. I knew it. I understand from experience. Huh? From experience? Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is this why your heart is broken and you can't express your real emotions anymore? You're the worst of the Ugh. Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into a misshapen wretches. Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Huh? Hold on. The Monocubs bully each other? What? No way. The Monocubs should always get along. Uh, oh my hey, God. kids. You play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along all ways. Hmm? Yes, we do. Right. See, my children are great kids. They would never bully each other. Why you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh well. Well, I think the Monica or I think threatening vibe we Monica's give off is perfect. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary badasses. Who will who do, or who are gonna drag you down to hell? <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Got it. Anyway, we've gotta head out or hand out the rewards. You have all been waiting for. Listen up, cause we got these here fabulous nonsensical prizes for you. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport. And a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo. Yay. I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? Da da da, thanks, one of them. What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backwards. How nice. Yeah. Don't get expired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyways, this situation is so just do your best. However you please. We'll do our best, whatever we need to do. Let's go. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point? What? Eh? Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Oh. No, not that. Anything but that. Actually. Wait. So the nape of your necks is your weak point? I, I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah. Wait. Get along? Really? Are you stupid. Don't let. I'm. Uh, don't let him fool ya. He killed Monica, remember? So long, farewell. Is Monica like here to help us, or is he like grand scheme evil plan dude? It's one or the other. Hmm. 
seeing a robot looking one get left out like me thinks or it makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we should use this these on those mysterious things over on the campus. However, and what will happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll just we'll know once we try. Take all the junk then. Uh, no, let's leave it to Suichi. Huh? Wait, me. Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah. You should be the one we are good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I I'll try. Man. Man, whatevs. I guess that's fine. So, I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Alright, let's get going. Oh gosh, what in the world could my mysterious objects even be for? We have four of them. Do they open anything for me? Four mysterious objects. Click, click. It's locked. Doesn't seem like I can get inside. I'm trying to figure out, like, what in the world this could possibly be for. I wonder if the girls know, maybe? Oh, you came here after all. It's just plain to, or it's plain to see this strange thing here. Just plain strange. So is this plain or strange? <laughs> Is it which one is it? Understandable. Maybe this opens up like some of the rooms, like for the people. Everybody's up here, which gives me that like weird inclination that it's something to do up here. On, like, the second floor. Because we just did first floor material. Like, second floor would make sense. Oh, shit. Did they say it was under construction? I suppose it's still ongoing. But exactly why is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us any... Or any... Or... There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. They did say the construction was ongoing. No one has come to save us, but it must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex in a large, in, or that large in secret? Understandable. Oh, hi. Hexagonal. Crank. One man's trash. Unlock a new area inside the academy. Casino! And this hotel. Hotel Kuma Stara. Wait. Rent is $25, two guests, two houses, until 12 There's an overnight fee of $45. The love suite. What are you? Da, da, da. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. Well, you're going to be here possibly for a minute, buddy. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You might get put through hell if uh, <laughs> I have the chance. <laughs> the casino. What is this? Okay. <laughs> well, casino, obviously. Do do do. Boo, ba, do do. Hmm. What is this place? Is this like a casino? Rise and shine, or shine. Why, hello there. Hi, Mono Cubs. This place is not like casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This place is a casino. Um, 
you can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for all fabulous prizes. <laughs> yep, yep, you sure can. That's a wonderful amateurish monodom. It had a flavor that not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, you've surpassed daddy. <laughs> Which makes you a grandpa monodom. Grandpa monodom. So long, farewell. So it is a casino. What can we do in here? A casino? Why is there a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use, play special casino coins and to play various games in exchange for mono coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back. So you know, so know what you are doing. Now, we should be able to have, you should be able to see as many coins as you have. The coins you saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize corner. We're always getting new prizes in, so look forward at that. There are games for you in the basement, so go on ahead. Let's play. The premium exchange counter. Mono Jabai. Ladybug brooch. A dog tag. Yo, dog tab to identify, to identify soldiers. The same profile is engraved on two plates. So if the owner is killed, one is collected to report the death. Wait. If the same profile is engraved, the, the same profile is engraved on both plates. So if the owner is killed, one is collected to report the death. A book of criminal offenses that contains records of the cruelest, cruelest, most atrocious murders in, committed by humans. Many of these cases weren't released to the public. What? Oh! Wow, the Monokuma medals are like worth a lot looks like you can't play this right now it's closed monokuma slots mono mono slot it looks like a slot machine game maybe i'll try this one would you like to play the game sure I have no coins. That's great. You need to exchange your mono coins. What's the bet lines? Oh god, not mix that. Match a mat match the pattern for a thousand mono coins. Watch match the pattern for twenty mono coins. While all patterns will reset. Scatter. If more than three appear when five bonus games, all scatter will change to wild. Well, that's cool. We can definitely come back to this. Wait. Salmon fishing. Salmon fishing is a game where you fish for salmon. Maybe I'll try this one. Would you like to play this? Sure. Kind is the only one we have for salmon fishing. Oh, God. Would we like to leave? Yes. That's fine. We can leave. It's a cool casino. I'm excited about it. I'm wondering what the win rates are going to be. Because I would assume you might they might want you to win these. Not sure. The door I can see over there must lead somewhere to the school. Where could it lead? I'm looking for the button that lets you like see all of your stops. Ah. There's another thing. 
I just had to come at it from a different direction. Okay. Well, the wall came down. Ah, uh, it was because of my magic. Ah, no. Uh, no, I used an item on this uh, uh, object magic. and it was my magic. Uh, um. Sure. Question mark, question mark, question mark. But a strawberry room. This door uses... This door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. From the looks of it, I would guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Ultimate magician's lab. That's true. As I suspected, this is full of stuff related to magics and tricks. Mm -hmm. Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, um... Right, then why are you asking me? Bird cage. Uh, um... That's a big cage. Hey, Himiko, what kind of trick do you use this cage yeah. for? It's not a trick. I'm telling you. It's real magic. Sorry, Sorry I forgot um... about that. I use a number of my spells. It also is good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Do you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Or, uh, I mean, a magical mm. animal? Yes, that's right. But my familiar isn't a dove. It's a tiger what? cub. A tiger cub? What is this? It must be so cute. I'm jealous of you being able to pet something fluffy like that whenever. I will admit, even I am kind of jealous. Cauldron. Uh, um, what is this? A, it's a huge cauldron, like the one a witch would be stirring in a children's you. book. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana. Hmm. Don't you know? It is a necessary energy source of magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean either or mm. life force? Um, the name's differently depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Mm. Is that so? Let me just break everything then, Himiko. I'm gonna break your entirety of the lab because I want all the Monokuma medals. Sorry, Himiko. I'll investigate around here a little bit more. Okay. Oh, it is the button that I thought it was. Okay. This is a guillotine, right? I, I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Uh, um. What is this? Hey. That's the magic trick where a person in the box is stabbed by sword but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick. There's one of the space spell types. Huh? Space type? Oh, that sounds like a high-ranking magic. Right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh, so in other words, you couldn't just be a mage if you'd have to be a sage and need the words of wisdom for that. Samugi, how are you able to follow some or that, like, honestly, girl? What the heck? Body sawing box. This is going to be used for magic too. I've seen it in a magic show. Investigating a little bit more. Okay. The large water tank. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is a magic trick too. Monitor for communicating with us. They really are everywhere. They want us to know we're under their control. But it doesn't have any surveillance equipment to spy on us, though. Investigate around a little bit more. Oh, do I need to talk to them? Probably. I haven't done that yet. Uh, they mixed up magic trips and real magic. But this is pretty thorough collection. Hey. It seems there are lots of our labs for everyone, so why prepare so many? What is this place? Uh, Monokuma said it's the ultimate cavity where gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true, though? Hey, the rooms in the dorms have 
locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Ah, looks like they are not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But I use real magic and not magic tricks. She's not gonna going to budge an inch on that point. No, she will not. Would you like to leave? Yes, that's what we were waiting for. Is the, the, the crucial information of that door did not have a lock. That's weird. Which is also pretty crucial information. So I'm glad we got it. Okay. The other thing was the there's somewhere in the school that should be connected to the plant thingy. I believe. It might be in our best interest to chit chat. To chit chat with uh with them, but Hey! Go on, try and solve the puzzle. You're clearly a pro at playing with yourself. I mean, are we now, Mew? How do you know that? That's crazy info to just know. What do you think? Have you recovered from your injury? Huh? Injury. Yeah. When Kaido struck you last night. Ah, okay. oh, yeah, I'm fine. I didn't bruise or anything Dang. else. Good. It should it begin to hurt again, please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of medical supplies in the uh, warehouse. Um, you have medical experience too, Kurumi? I am a, maid after all. a true maid must be able to adapt to my situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Kayane's request. So I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. Kurumi. Sounds like everyone was taken with Kayane's final wish to heart. Even Kayane no is no even if Kaede is no longer with us, Kaede's wish will not vanish. Oh. Bronze Dragon Statue. I don't know how I missed that. Dragon Gem. I do like how they're introducing the new areas to us though. Like, it's not super like, this is opened up to you now. Go upstairs and do this. It's like you actually have to figure out where to put the items that you're looking at. Whoa, so cool. We can get past this wall now. All right, time to charge. Oh. What? Charging in is dangerous. It is. Um. Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing. But I feel stagnant air drifting from the damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point in quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time? From the looks of this door, this must be an ultimate research right. lab. Let's go inside. The ultimate maid lab. Hmm. This room gives up an antique vibe. These aren't Victorian. The decorations adorned by the British Empire at the peak of the Queen Victoria's era hey. reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of which, the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper, was from that time, correct? That is correct. Even ever the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. Does this... It does seem perfectly suited for Kurumi. Excellent. Hmm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Me. Ah, me too. I see. Uh, this appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being here, it brings a tale to my mind. Kiyo has closed his eyes as he spoke as if he was in a, he were in a trance. The era is the 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and the modest and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and the dark of social hey. classes. Huh, that sounds like a plot of manga for girls. <laughs> is that so? Are you saying that I'm love struck for some young or, or that I am like some young love struck girl? <laughs> That's that is how fascinating, or that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. The dining table. 
There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Closet door. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Nope. Instead, there was a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. Those appliances must prove or prove most useful when I perform my cleanings. Cleaning? You mean the school? Karumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is the maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle of which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will. it will not take a monetary I payment. Grant your wishes. I will do anything that you ask. Anything. It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Excuse me. There's a lot of washing machines here. That's all that's all we have to say. There's there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay, so from her lab I can carry on forth. And this is probably a two or a two for one. Oh, Angie's lab. Treasure chest. What is this? A treasure chest? Yahoo! We found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Chuichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying that you should open it, Suichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? What is this? A flashlight? No, it can't just be a flashlight. Yoo-hoo! Maybe try turning it hey. on? No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect huh? it. Huh? It'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Sweetie. I'm begging you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're so eager, then why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well, then. Then I'll meet you halfway and expect the flashlight myself. <laughs> huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bayonara. Oh, once you understand, I'll come teach you Bayonara. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. Wait, inspect it how? Now this strange door, it must be an ultimate <laughs> research lab. Based on the design, it's, it could be the ultimate entomologist's lab. That, oh, bugs. Duh. It's uh, uh, Gantha's. Oh, look at all those bugs. Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, it was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's not upset Gontha. Let's not get punched through the fucking wall. I think it's a great idea. Hi, Gontha. Amazing. Gontha wonder how many bugs there are. Gontha is so excited that he gets his own special room. Mm. Who make this room anyway? Gontha need to think. Say. Huh? <laughs> I, wow. I, I messed up his lines. I messed up Gontha's lines sometimes more than Gontha himself flips his words, and it's <laughs> how much better. Uh, um, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monokums? Huh? Wait, no way, Monokuma. <sighs> but no person who like bug can be bad person. Gonta's sad. Insect specimens. There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty bugs shine brighter than sparky rocks. Mm. Sparkly rocks. Gonta understand person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs, well, I suppose everyone is different. Bug cages. Wow, that's an extraordinary amount of bug cages. 
Hmm. Lots of larvae and eggs, and they keep sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated? But... It's okay. Egg probably hatch, if Gonta take good care of well. them. Well, you do your best then. If all of these hatch, there will be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world? It's like a, that Bible story, Noah's Ark? If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood of humans and animals and began... Perhaps that's a little too dramatic? Ah, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with that. Arranged books. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Would you like to leave? Yeah, we can leave. So we're opening some more research labs and being able to go in them, which is a little scary because somebody could murder in the research labs. It, I could see that being a, a possibility. Oh, we can go upstairs maybe. Stairs. It looks like I can go to the third right. floor from here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. Another lab. Another research lab based on the design. The ultimate tennis pros lab. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Ultimate tennis pro. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what he is. The indoor tennis court. It's This is impressive. I forgot. Ryoma... Um, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, what's, what's Ryoma's or, uh, talent? And I was like, I completely forgot. Oh, no. I forget the sports talent. That says a lot. That's actually crazy. Mm. This lab, this must be your lab, right, Ryoma? It must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> hmm. I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey. Ryoma. Are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're the tennis player, aren't you? Threw away my past. It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so when you kill the mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago too? Wait. Hey, come on, Mew. What was that? Wait. It is really what happened, yeah? Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that. Even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a, a different prison. Hmm. It'd be so meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at that tennis court with such a sad eye, Ryoma? Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. What is that stare down? You're scaring me. Oh my god. Like, what the heck? Uh, yeah, it's okay. The tennis net. Is the only thing we can observe. A tennis net. It's stretched tight and looks sturdy. That is literally the only thing we can observe in here, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. I should investigate a little bit more around here. Oh, there's a door. A shower room. Oh, it's a shower room. Oh, oh. You know where I want to go. This is the closet or something in the back. Oh. Yeah, we should take the, the, that statue into the shower room. Because the statue is the only thing that I can actually have a crush on. <laughs> uh, there's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you guys boys go and scrub... Uh, or go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma! <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around... Or turn around to face the Suichi. I was just kidding. I thought you would laugh. I mean... Yeah, he would be at the, like, perfect height for Suichi. It's something. That's what the shower room is for. Hey. Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, um... An interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? Ah! With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Just get my creative juices flowing. So <laughs> a big metal arm. <laughs> Coming for her, it has to be inappropriate. I feel I have a bad feeling about this. It's okay, Suichi. It's definitely not used for a naughty naughty. Door to the hallway. Totally not used for that. Honestly, Mew would make that, though.
Me would absolutely make something of that nature. That's why we vibe. Oh, a door. A large door. That, that okay, not gonna lie, it kinda looks like the, the door to Bowser's castle, but you know. <laughs> I know we're not playing that game. What is this? It looks like a door, but oh I see, it's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think it's called Pixel Art. Yeah. That that will work too, I guess. Uh, the red door. Well, I don't know what kind, though. Well, let's take a look inside. I reached my hand for the doorknob. Stop it. I did not give you permission to enter. Huh? Maki? So, this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab? You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. Oh, you're right. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. Huh? But there are no rules against people going into each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? Hey. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff, are you? See, thanks to you, that annoying brat has showed up. Because... Oh, you hear that, Suichi? An annoying brat has showed up all because of you. Uh... Okay. So... Yeah. So what's up? Do you want anyone to enter your... Why don't you want... You don't want anybody to... Ugh. You don't want anybody to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff like that to make girls upset, you know. Uh, um, uh, okay, I understand. Then... Good, then stay away. If you try to go inside, it'll be an extremely painful experience for you. Huh? Painful? Okay, bye. We, we won't go. Not yet, anyway. That's crazy. So we unlocked a lot of stuff in today's episode. We got to figure out what this last item is utilized for because we've figured out that. So in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we are going to take on the the next section where we figure out the other door and the other thing we get to unlock. Because honestly, I'm excited to see all the stuff that we open up. But we will save our current progress and we will see you guys in the next one when we tackle that.